Hey everyone, in the last video I showed you all how to play your Wii backups on the Wii U, so I figured in today's video I'd show you how to play your Wii U backups on the Wii U. Now this is going to be a little different because you won't be able to use the same thumb drive or USB drive for uh, the Wii U games and the Wii games. There is a, another way to do that out there by injection, but I think that's something I should cover in a completely different video. So we're just gonna be focusing on just getting the Wii U games on here. Now, there is a compatibility list available, which will show you which drives work and which drives don't. Uh, if you end up going with the external hard drive route, you're gonna need a Y splitter cable due to a power issue with the Wii U not being able to power, or just some type of external power. So uh, but yeah, I'll leave a link in the description below for everything that I'm going to be doing today, including that compatibility list. So let's just jump straight into this. All right, first things first, uh, we're going to launch our custom firmware. So for me, that's Teramisu. So I'm going to open up the health and safety information icon. Uh, let's just give this a second to boot up. Once we're here, we're going to open up the Mi Maker. This is what's going to open the homebrew launcher. Let's just give this a second as well. All right, now that we're here, we're going to be opening up the homebrew app store. Now, if you followed my previous tutorials on either Haxachi or Tiramisu, you should already have this in here. So let's just press A and load this up. Just give it a second. All right, now that we're here, we're going to be looking for a program called disk to app which is right here. I'm pretty sure there's other programs that do the same things on here, but I'm pretty sure this is the most efficient. Uh, this basically is what's going to read our disk and dump it to our SD card. So just to A, and this will download this. It's pretty quick because it's kind of a small file. And look at that. It's all done. So let's go ahead and hit the minus button. This will take us back to the homebrew launcher. And voila, we have this tap right here. So now let's go ahead and open this up and hit load. And now it's going to say, please make sure to take out any currently inserted disk. Also make sure you have at least 23.3 gigabytes free on your device. Press A to continue a FAT32 SD card or B to continue with a FAT32 USB device. So I'm going to be doing this with my SD card. I'm going to hit A. Please insert the disk you want to dump now to begin. So I'm going to be using my copy of Mario Party 10. And it should be pretty instant. Maybe not. There it is. All right. And now this is going to do its thing. So depending on the game that you have, it's going to be either a small file or a big file. So we have to wait till this is done. This can take upwards to about 25 minutes. So let's just give it some time and I'll see you in a little bit. All right. I think it's getting ready to finish up right now. It wasn't too bad so far. It's been about 10 minutes and all done. Re-enable auto power down. So now that this is all set, the console's going to turn off and I don't know if it'll turn itself back on. Yes, it will. All right. Okay. Now that we're back here before we continue, I'm going to show you guys something on the SD card. So let's switch over to the computer real fast. Okay. So once we have the SD card open, I just wanted to show you guys where the game actually installs to. So you're going to have an install folder or you should have an install folder. If not, you can make one. But if you open it up, you're going to see this weird name, what P A B A E or whatever the game may be for you. It's usually just not going to be the title name. You can rename this to whatever you want. So, uh, I'm going to do Mario party 10. And inside here is basically all the files that we're going to be using. Now, uh, that's all you need to know about the SD card. If you already have previously backed up games here, you can just insert them into this folder. So now let's go ahead and head back over to the Wii U. So now that we're here, the next thing we have to do is connect our external hard drive or USB thumb drive. And once you plug it in, it might take a second, but you're going to get this message that's asking you to format the drive. We are going to need to be doing this. Uh, if you have something on the drive that you don't want to lose, you should back up everything that's on it first. Uh, let's just go ahead and hit format and format again format complete now the next thing we're going to do is open up the homebrew launcher just give this a second and now we're going to be opening up the wup installer so hit a on here and go to load now from here i'm going to have to continue the tutorial on the pad so let's switch over to that so it's pretty simple mine says mario party 10 because that's what i named it I'm just going to tap it and hit install. 
gonna ask, are you sure you wanna install? Yes, and it's gonna give you an option if you wanna install it to your NAND or the USB. So since I'm doing the external hard drive, I'm gonna hit USB. And now once again, this is probably gonna take around 10 to 15 minutes to dump, so I'll see you in a second. Okay, now it says successfully installed Mario Party 10. Hit OK. And it's going to bring you back to this main screen here. If you want to leave, just hit the Home button. And I think this will take you back to the Homebrew Launcher. Hit Home again. This will take you back to the Me Maker. And then from here, we're just going to close. Okay, now that we're here, you can see that I have Mario Party 10 just hanging out here on the home screen. So one thing I will say before I open this up to test it is that you can now delete this off of the SD card and save yourself some space. And some of you are probably wondering why you just didn't install the game straight to the external hard drive. So the reason we did it to the SD was so that we could put it on our computer or rename it from that file. Uh, once the game itself is on the hard drive, you will no longer be able to connect the hard drive to the PC because it's going to be formatted on the Wii U format. So uh, deleting everything is a whole different story, like reformatting the drive. But uh, yeah, you, you won't be able to connect this to the PC afterwards. So all the games that you transfer in the future will have to be done through the SD card and then through the WUP installer. But anyways, let's go ahead and boot this up. And you can see that it works fine, and I have the disc right here. But I'm just going to get to the home screen, I'm not going to do too much gameplay here. And you can see here that everything seems to be running fine, so I think I'm just going to go ahead and end this video here. Uh, if you run into any problems, leave a comment down below, I'll try my best to get back to you, and let me know what kind of content you'd like to see me cover next. But until then, I'll catch you guys next time. Adios.